Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. In this video, we are going to talk about the very important feature of Playwright Test Turner that is the fixture. Okay, so this is the basic uh, thing. So we already have discussed about this in lot of our videos like what is fixture and how to use it. But we are going to learn about that in depth. Okay, so there are two types of fixture that we have to remember. One is the test fixture and another one is the worker fixture. In this video, let's explore the test and in upcoming videos, we'll explore about the worker. Okay, so I'm going to uh, get into my editor. Okay, so here, if you remember, whenever uh, we write any of the test, we say like test and within that we pass this guy called uh, page or browser or context and anything like that, right? So whenever I use this, I said like this is nothing but a fixture. Okay, so but have you ever wondered like, what is this page and where from where it is coming because this is just a test block with the anonymous function and within the anonymous function we are able to get this right so i'm going to give you a demo like how to get this or our custom fixture okay to be simple this is nothing but a uh, fixture okay so i'm just going to show you like how we can create our own fixture okay so let's start now so here I have a folder called fixture and within that I'm going to create a file called my fixtures.ts. Okay. This is not your test file, it is kind of your base file. So we don't have to say like dot test.ts. Okay. And here within this, what we are going to do, we are going to first do the import. So import page, and I'm going to give it allies as um base test. Okay, so I'm going to name it like base test. And I'm going to import it from, of course, the playwright test. Okay, that's it. And here, this guy, uh, because this should be, uh, sorry, not the test, uh, not the page, it should be the test. Okay. So, yeah. Now, what we are going to do, we are going to create a type of, let's name it like Kaushik. Okay, so I'm just going to give my name here. And then within this, I'm going to declare a data called hey, and that is going to be of type string. Okay. So this type is basically the TypeScript feature. Uh, if you are already aware of this, fine. Or not, it's a very simple concept. Uh, if you do not know, let me know in the comments. I will try to make a separate video on this, okay? Uh, to be simple, it's kind of like uh, whenever we create a function, we have to uh, give the types, the data types, right? In like, uh, for example, get, and then we will say like color, and we have to say like string, right? So instead of doing that, we can declare like this. Okay, so here we can have like multiple datas with the data types, and then we can use this in the functions. Okay, so very simple. You can explore or maybe do let me know. I will try to make a separate video on this. Okay, now here what I'm going to do, I'm going to create another variable called um, fixture, okay, fixture itself, and then I'm going to use the base test. And here you can see we have a lot of functions, a lot of hooks like after all, after each, before all, before each. And we have few other things. Uh, I don't have a use case for everything. So maybe in upcoming videos, I will tell you uh, more in detail. Okay. As of now, I'm going to use this function called extend. And where within the generic, we have to specific like what this uh, function is going to extend. Okay. And then within this, we are going to write our actual code. So here we have to specify number of objects. Okay. Now this Kaushik is going to be this generic. Okay, so what we did is very simple. We use the base test. Base test is nothing but the actual test from the playwright. Okay, and then we are using this function called extend, where we have specified our type, uh, the generic type, as this name. Okay, now if I mouse on this extend, you can see that already we are getting the test types that are uh, playwright test arguments, the playwright test options and a few other details okay now within this what we are going to do we are going to uh, write some code so we have this hey that is declared within the Kaushik I'm going to use that and I'm going to say like uh, I am that code something like that okay so just a string so here we have the string type so that's why we have given so you can give like number type functions whatever you want you can specify within this and here we have extended so we are able to get this object but apart from this, of course, you can see uh, we'll get so many things like accept download, the browser, the channel, uh, and few other options. These are basically we have already used in all our tests as a fixture. So if you wanted to do some customization or some pre-requesty uh, for your test, of course, you can configure that here as well. Okay. 
we'll talk about this in detail in upcoming videos as of now let me make you understand what is the fixture okay it might sound a little complex but it is not that complex but little bit of complex okay i hope you will understand this after this video okay now i'm going to create a test file so i'm going to make it like my test dot test dot ts okay and by the way in this test dot ts is not mandatory it's just a naming convention that is followed across all the testing uh, libraries for example in jasmine we have like dot spec dot ts uh, for mocha also same i believe so similarly for just and the playwright test runner we are using test.ts okay now what we are going to do we are going to write a test for that we are going to import the uh, something from the instead of playwright at test i am going to import my own fixture that is my fixture okay now here if i give control space i am not able to see anything these are basically from your vs code suggestion uh, the dummy suggestion these are nothing okay why i am not getting any option is basically if i go to my fixture you can see that i haven't exported anything okay so if i have to you make use of this fixture i have to export it so here i am going to say export const and i am going to name it like text test and then i am going to say fixture okay this fixture is nothing but the actual test from the playwright test okay and let me give you one more example so here i'm going to say that i'm going to use the expect okay so here i'm going to say expect equal to fixture dot you can see i'm able to get this expect okay so we know that in test runner we have described we have uh, uh, expect we have the um test so we can export whatever the things we need so i cannot use the describe because i haven't exported it okay so as of now i can use the test and the expect let me show you that so here i'm going to say i'm going to give control space that will technically give me the suggestion like what are the things i can import okay now here i'm going to write a test block so test and then the first argument should be of string and then we have the anonymous function correct and this guy i'm going to give some name so my test one and here i'm going to make it as async and within the curly braces i can call the page browser right that is what we used to do but instead of that i'm going to use my defined variable that is hey so here you can see we are able to get this hey guy here right how it works is very simple if i mouse around the test you can see that uh here we have the name as a string that is my first argument second one is the inner callback function where we can get callbacks we can receive the callbacks as like playwright test arguments or the playwright test options or the kaushik what is kaushik kaushik is basically the type i have defined in my fixture okay and then we have the playwright test uh, worker arguments and the test worker options we might not use everything but whatever is necessary definitely we will see demo for all those stuff apart from this first and the second you can see there is also another guy called test info okay i will come back to that in a moment before that let's see how we can use this hey here okay so i'm going to say log and i'm going to give hey now hey is what hey is a string right so if it's string means of course i can access all the string functionality right so here i can say like to maybe uppercase and that should make my string as a uppercase right now let's go to our terminal um before that let me go to my config file and here already i have a file this file so test dot test dot i mean my test dot test dot yes right so i'm going to bring up npm run test and that should execute my test this one okay i hope you guys are able to follow me what i'm trying to explain okay so here you can see i got the output in the uppercase because that is what we have defined here okay and here you can see one test passed now here you can see that we are able to get this expect except uh, expect is nothing but the assert right so here i can say like expect and here this guy so let's store this here in a variable first so let text equal to and then i'm going to say text to be so we have done the uh, uppercase so i'm just going to copy this nothing much here 
okay now let me run one i mean run one again run once again sorry for that so now here this should pass because the expect is correct now just in case if i'm going to make it as lower case then what should happen of course it will fail and as expected this is failed right so that is the beauty of the expect now instead of expect i don't want this to be like expect i want to make it or i want to give it some name then i can change it here right so i can change it like assert and now i can use this asset here in case i'm going to change it here and i'm going to change it here okay so this is the beauty of customization you can customize as per your requirement okay so we can configure all the tests like in which browser we have to execute or how many times we want to do the do the retry we can configure every, we can configure everything within the fixture okay that is the beauty of fixture and i also believe you understood like how we are able to get this okay so that is fine um we are able to understand now let me show you one more thing so here if you remember i said that we have something called test info right so i'm going to bring that here so here i'm going to say comma and then for by info okay now let me use the info and here we have few uh, things like duration error expected status fail fix me few of the things I'm going to make it very simple i'm going to use the status so status in the sense like it will tell us whether the status is passed or not i mean the test status so after the execution only we can get the status of the test so here i'm going to say like uh, is it passed okay something like this just a string concatenation to understand now i'm going to run this so here uh, this this guy is going to basically fail so here we can expect the failure let's see okay so here uh, this is fail that we understood and what is the log of this guy okay actually it got failed here itself so it didn't go to this particular line this particular piece of code i believe um so what we can do but this should say i believe uh, okay let me comment it out for a moment and we'll check this guy i think this should be passed now yeah so here you can see it is passed yeah and we are getting passed okay but if it's going to be failed then only it should uh, i think it should go to the next line because this is kind of like status so um okay anyways we'll come back to that maybe in some another day uh anyways so info dot status in the sense we can get like what is the information uh, i mean the information about the test okay now i don't want to execute this i want to fail means i can do with the help of info so here i can say like info dot fail uh directly so before even executing this line so here the it will come to the first line and it will make the test case as a failure and similarly i can do the skip as well so if i wanted to skip the test then i can use the skip function here okay and apart from that uh, we have few things like we can do the skip uh, do the retry and a uh, few other things okay let me show you info dot and here you can see that we have like error fix me um, project retry set timeout uh, skip snapshot status standard output output and we have a lot of things okay title means it will give you this one this is the title of this test so it will give you that information so, okay you can just explore on this this is not very much required for us what we have to learn is this basically and uh, this is called as fixture you might wonder in all my videos i have said like we are going to use the fixture 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 now you have idea like what is fixture and how we are using it okay so i'm just going to give you a small recap then probably we can wind up and in the next video we will learn um, in detail okay like how we can use this fixture concept in our actual test cases okay so first thing first we have to import the test this is what the important uh, we are going to use make use of the test and we are giving the allies as a base test not bast sorry for that it should be it can be any name but yeah my spelling mistake again i have a base test very good spelling okay and then we have the type uh, so type here we are declaring that hey is of type string okay and in the generic we have uh, we have passed this guy 
and within this we have declared the value for this okay that's it very simple now this is the actual test so here from there we can select test even you can make it like it and here in your actual test you can say like uh, this guy is no more test this guy is going to be your it block okay so if you are some someone from like jasmine or mocha probably you can use the it as well if that makes you comfort okay but i'm just going to redo that uh, because this code should go to my github and people should not get confused okay then we have the assert the expect basically fixture dot expect and even if you want to group your test cases so here we can use the uh, describe so you can export that as well so whatever the things you wanted to use you can export everything and you can use it okay that's it very simple concept i hope you are able to understand finally what is a fixture okay but of course there are a few more topics on the same uh, i will try my best to make it more easier to make you understand okay so that's it from my side thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon